Trance Media is an interactive work that connects live to the internet. The user can type in any URL, any web address in the top box over here. As the address is typed in and then clicking anywhere else within the window, a new web page will be loaded within the patch. The first thing that the patch does is to render the web page as you would actually see it inside any web browser such as Internet Explorer or Mozilla Firefox. So complete with text images just as you would see it in the browser. This web page is then also deconstructed in a sense in that the HTML code that generates the web page is extracted into the top table over here. Each of the characters are then tabulated inside a database of characters. This is the second table that we see just below the main HTML code table. So each individual character is split up. These characters are then translated into their corresponding ASCII character codes. This is the code for any character as the computer would see it, a numeric value. The numeric values are then remapped to MIDI notes. It is a simple mapping of minimum and maximum values between the two data sets. So in other words, we can see 60 becomes 56, 104 becomes 104, 116 becomes 117, and so on. This table of MIDI notes can then be played back in sequence. The user can select a universal playback speed. Each note is played back for the same duration. The current note number as it is playing will be displayed in the middle box and in the bottom box over here, total characters and notes. On the right hand side, it is possible to activate the playback of a MIDI note. It's also possible to stop and rewind at any point. So there we have started uh, the MIDI playback and you can hear the notes playing. Now in the bottom right hand corner of the screen here, we have a rendering window indicating the MIDI notes as they are playing. It is a simple sequencer like display where lighter blocks at the top of a window represent higher notes and the darker blocks at the bottom of a window represent lower notes. Above each block, the original HTML character as extracted from the code is also displayed. So you can see how the characters translated into their various media notes. Now in the render window directly above the MIDI note display, we have a more interpretive type of translation. This is the very last translation and display in this sequence of translations. And it consists of extracting all the text out of the HTML code. So in other words, only the text that you would actually see in your HTML browser, such as Internet Explorer, is displayed in this window. This text is then distributed over a 2D surface in three-dimensional space. And each of the words are also connected by lines to the words that follow. So in other words, the words are connected in sequence as they appear in the text. Because of a random distribution, it appears as a crisscrossing network of lines, however. Each of the words are also connected to a frequency in the audio spectrum, and they react to the sound as the MIDI notes are playing according to the frequency assigned to that particular word. So if the frequency for a particular word is loud, it will move up and down more vigorously. And if the frequency is playing softer, it will only move slightly.